Welcome to the Polar Triangle back on an opening videos. These videos are structured to do two things. One, improve your opening play for both cash games and match play. Two, these videos will teach you how to adjust your opening strategy if you are ahead in the match or behind in the match and increase your overall winning percentage. These videos are not a list of the best opening plays, but an interactive experience designed to teach you the all important first stage of any backgammon game. Let's say you were playing a 13 point match, and at the start of the match, you said to yourself, I would really like to know exactly how to play my opening several rolls into the game at any match score I may encounter. Now, if you studied each of the possible match scores for a 13 point match, you would have to study 170 to 200 different match scores. This is impractical, and it's unnecessary to take this approach. By studying only three match scores, you can make tremendous improvement in your opening play. But more importantly, you will actually be playing. You'll be able to formulate a plan based on the situation in front of you and employ a strategy that is appropriate instead of just playing a bunch of moves you've memorized. Here are the three match scores we will be using. The scores are 9 away, 9 away, 4 away, 2 away, and 2 away, 4 away. For those of you who've never seen match scores presented in this fashion before, here's a quick explanation. Now your score in a match, believe it or not, is meaningless, unless you know how long your match is. Same is true for your opponent's score. It's meaningless unless you take into account how long the match is. So we only think and talk in terms of our away scores. That is, how far away we are from winning, how far away our opponent is from winning the match. It's very easy. We'll do a few examples. Let's say you're playing a nine point match. Your score is zero, your opponent's score is zero. It's the start of a nine point match. Your actual score is nine away, nine away. This is your actual score, but this is your actual score. This is the one that we want to use. This is more useful, and this is how you want to be thinking about this as you play and we always talk about our score first, our opponent's score second. We are nine away, nine away at this match score. Another example, our score is two, our opponent's score is three in a nine point match. This match score is seven away, six away. Seven away, six away, very easy. If you were one to five in a seven point match, you would be six away against two away. If you were nine to seven in a match to 11 points, you would be two away, four away. If you were 10 to six in a 13 point match, you would be three away, seven away. And if you were one, versus your opponent's three in a five point match, you'd be at four away, two away. That's it. Now back to our triangle. Here are the three match scores we'll be using. Nine away, nine away, four away, two away, two away, four away. The length of the match doesn't matter, only our away scores. So we're using this for any match of any length. For nine away, nine away, as long as we are five away, five away, or higher, we use this as our time match score. And at these three different match scores, we employ a different opening strategy. It's also a different cube strategy as well, but these videos will focus on our opening checker play. So for nine away, nine away, we'll be using basic opening theory. We'll be making points in our home field, points, anchors in our opponent's home field, We'll be hitting loose blots. We won't be too aggressive. We won't be too passive. And this represents our play as we learn it when the match is tied or very close to being tied. And these plays will also mirror very, very closely how we play our cash game openings. So this is already a big benefit in that we're starting to learn match play openings but we're also at the same time practicing how to play the openings when we play our cash games. At four away, two away, 
we're interested in building a home board, we're going to play more aggressive to make a home board point, and it's a very specific strategy. Uh, very aggressive. I, the nickname I have for this is you're in honey badger mode when you're four away, two away. Now once we learn this, four away, two away, we've done a great thing for ourselves because as we start to fall behind in the match, we're going to slowly move our strategy that we've learned from nine away, nine away toward our strategy for four away, two away. So in between being tied in the match and being behind in the match, we can make an adjustment and an estimate of what our level of aggression is and what our priorities are in our game. Our third match score, two away, four away, I call this the stingy, stingy match score because we're gonna play in a style where our emphasis is gonna be an anchor, we're gonna play very solid, we're gonna play in a style where our opponent wins the fewest gammons against us. At two away, four away, our opponent would love to win a gammon they would love to have the Cuban play and win a gammon against us, and we have to oppose their strategy with our strategy. And again, look what we've done for ourselves. As we fall, as I say, as we gain a lead in the match, and that match lead grows, we're going to start to move our strategy toward the strategy we learned for two away, four away. And if you look at these two, these two strategies are polar opposites of each other. These are the extremes of how you're gonna play your checkers. Our examples of four-way, two-way, and two-way, four-way. Hence, I got them up with the name Polar Triangle. And if you can remember this triangle, and after watching several of these videos, you'll be able to form an opinion what your strategy should be at any match score that you run into. And over the months, over the years of playing, this will become second nature. But this is very important to learn how to play a match correctly because what you set forth in the opening can affect the entire rest of the game. Now the best way to learn is to learn a few things, add a few things, learn a few things. I can give you a short list of things to look for for opening play, but a short list falls far short of what you need to learn. I could give you the long list, which could be as long as 20 to 25 things, which is a terrible way to learn. But what I'm offering here in this series of videos is a more practical and fun approach to learning the game. We can learn along the way different subtleties in opening play, but at the same time, we're learning our cash game play and we're learning how to make adjustments in our play at any match score. Now the best way to learn from this series of videos is when prompted, pause the video. And what you're going to do then is write down or just say out loud what your play would be if you were nine away, nine away. But what if you were four away, two away? Now what would your play be? And at two away, four away, what would your play be? Resume the video and see how close you are. Now, you don't have to do this. The pause in the video will only be for five seconds if you don't take the uh, effort to actually pause the video to give yourself time to fully formulate an answer. So you can just let the video run and sit back and enjoy the video and learn that way as well. But pausing the video will give you the best benefit from these videos. And that's it. If you want to support the channel, make sure you subscribe. And opening play is a big, big subject. So if you have any questions, make sure you post your questions in the comments.